I tried manual labor advertised on Craigslist for 24 hours and this is how much money I made. Whew. What's up guys, it's Neil and on this channel I try new side hustles and challenges to show you which strategies work and which don't for the purposes of saving, investing, and creating the life you want. Now usually I try out online opportunities to make money and I know that's the flashiest option with possibly the highest potential upside, but non-passive income, you know, like working should not be overlooked as a way to build your wealth. And one of the best ways to find work, whether that's one-time gig jobs or consistent employment, is the wondrous world of Craigslist. So I'll be using that and some local Facebook groups for this challenge, and I'll be spending 24 hours doing this real-life work to see how much I like it and how much money I can make throughout the entire process. If you do enjoy my videos, consider hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it. So me and a friend of mine were sitting in the car one day, absolutely scheming on some ways to make money. Money, thinking about flipping stuff from the free part of Craigslist to the paid side, thinking about all kinds of options. And then before we knew it, this ad popped up offering $20 an hour for snow shoveling gigs. And whenever I hear a number over minimum wage, my ears perk up. The only issue is that this job usually starts at 5 a.m. and that I live a good 30, 40 minutes away from where I'll be shoveling. So we'll have to pull some absolute Navy SEAL shenanigans, but it'll be worth it. Yes, I wake up early. Yes, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning. So it is currently just after 4 a.m. and I just got called in for this shoveling job. Basically, I'm just going to a grocery store parking lot and shoveling it all day until it stops snowing. I've gotten about four hours of sleep in the last 72 hours, but you know, the grind never stops. Sometimes you don't need to sleep. I haven't slept in 26 hours. How do you think I feel? Top of the world. The grind is real. The shoveling was a little hard, but it was also nice to see the sunrise as I was working, get a little workout in, and then by the time I was done, it was a time where I would still probably be in bed on a normal day, so it kind of felt like free money. The next thing I tried doing was some general labor for old ladies I found on my town's Facebook page. The first time I did this, I cleared out a lady's basement by moving some furniture and trash, grabbed some mail for her, and she asked me to come back once a week to continue bringing out her trash. I also helped her set up a new phone one week and just did random stuff around the house that she needed help with. She was really nice and appreciative and gave me at least $15 an hour every time I came. All right, I just got back from another one of those old lady type gigs there where I expected to be moving some furniture or something like that, but it turned out to be a lady that had a bit of a problem with buying things online. So she had me package up some packages to send back, but the issue was at one point she asked me, okay, so what do you do with your fee here? Do you charge the other people that you do this for? And I said, yes, but you know, whatever you think is fair, because that's what I always say, just because I think that's the nice thing to do. And also because people tend to be generous when you do good work. But she said, oh really, you charge? And so I was like, oh, um, yeah, but uh, you don't have to pay if you don't want to. And so she was like, okay, I won't. And I had to mail these out for her. It was a whole ordeal. But I did get some oranges and cat toys out of the deal. And I had to include this in this video because when you're doing gigs like this, it, this is something that happens. There's gonna be some times when things just don't work out, but that's all right because I'm making a pretty solid hourly wage off of the other things I'm doing in this challenge. So it should all work out in the end. All right, and I'm just finishing up my third day of shoveling here and it is the day of the Super Bowl today, but the benefit and why I definitely signed up to come today is if you make it to three snowstorms in a row, they start paying you $25 an hour after the third one. So next time I'm gonna be making $25 an hour, that's like double minimum wage. So that's very exciting. Plus the other benefit is I'm at Stop and Shop here. Anybody from the Northeast familiar with Stop and Shop? I can also pick up some vegan wings for the Super Bowl. So I can go grab that when I'm done with my shift here. The next thing I tried was delivering groceries with a local business my friend found on Craigslist that's basically like Instacart. Now Miles is training me to do grocery delivery. This is very true. Super stressful, like just, on to <laughs> just figuring out where 
to go and all of that and bringing the right groceries and giving them to the right people but we got all our groceries back there and we're starting to figure it out i think it's starting to go a little bit more smoothly this job pays 15 dollars an hour plus tips the only drawback is that whenever i work i end up using a lot of gas so it really ends up being more like 13 50 an hour All right, you guys, it's the last day of this challenge, but it's gonna be a pretty intense one because we've got our grocery delivery, and then as soon as we can get to the shoveling after that, we have another snowstorm coming in, and then, most likely, I will also be taking out that woman's trash later this afternoon. Let's go! Guys, I finished the grocery delivery, then I went straight to this shoveling. I've been here for like five hours because it just kept snowing and then I kept having to redo the same things. Like I, I did everything three times today, but it seems like the snow has finally stopped and I'm done with my third round, except no one else from the team that I'm with is like around. I don't know where anyone else is and my phone's dead, so I can't contact anyone, but I think I'm just gonna head home, hope everything's all right and stop at this point. It's been a long day. <laughs> Okay, that was a very long day. I woke up at 7.30 this morning and didn't get back home until almost 7.30 at night. But I started making $25 an hour today with the shoveling. I'm now finished with all 24 hours of this challenge and I actually hit 28 and a half hours. And now that we've finished the challenge, let's go over what I know you're all here to find out about and that is how much money I made. So starting with the first category of helping out old ladies, I worked a little under five hours hours, including the two that I didn't get paid for, and I made a total of $45. Then in the grocery deliveries, I worked nine and a half hours, and including tips, but subtracting the money I had to pay for gas, I made $161.90. And in the most manual labor type job of these manual labor jobs, the snow shoveling, I worked 14 hours altogether and made a whopping $325. Finally, after adding all of these categories, together, I made a total of $531.90 with an average hourly rate of $18.66. And I know I did put 24 hours in the title, so to keep my word, I'll tell you how much I made in my first 24 hours, which was exactly $419.40. Overall, I had a lot of fun doing this challenge. I think it's good to do some real hardy work at some point in your life, even if you're not looking to, for instance, go into construction or landscaping forever. It's really important to have a wide perspective on the different types of lifestyles out there. And especially in the shoveling job, I was working for a landscaping company. So as someone on the college track, majoring in video production and business, I met people I probably wouldn't have come into contact with otherwise. As you've probably gathered, I would definitely recommend doing some manual labor gig jobs to anyone out there looking for a side hustle. It's a good experience. It's not hard to find these things on Craigslist or Facebook. Facebook, there's usually not much commitment involved if you don't end up liking it, and not to mention it pays a lot better than your typical cashier job. Even though I kind of started these jobs for this video, I think I found some great options for myself and I'm gonna keep going with them as long as I can. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of manual labor jobs you guys have done, if any, or what you might be looking to do in the future. I definitely recommend it. Also, if you found some value in this video, I'd really appreciate a little tap on that like button there really helps with my channel. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see new videos every week where I try out different ways of making money and working toward achieving my goals of traveling and seeing the world. Thanks for watching and that's it for today. So I'll see you next time.